Hey guys, welcome to another video from Skinny Medics. I have an after action medical report video for you here. This is where I take cell phone footage, body cam footage, things like that, and we take a look at real world scenarios. I break them down, tell you how I would have treated the patient, so hopefully this helps you if you ever find yourself in a bad situation. You guys seem to really like these videos. YouTube does not. So I appreciate Snoring Desert Institute, SDI, for sponsoring these videos. They provide online education for firearms. So if you're interested in learning more about firearms, go to sti.edu. So let's take a look at this video here. I don't have a lot of information about the videos on Instagram. I do know the officer applied the tourniquets, but I don't know anything else, the background information, but it does have some blood in it. So if you don't like blood, I would skip over to the next video. This, this is not gonna feel good, man, but it's gonna save your life, all right? As as you can, I know it sucks, man, but it's gonna help you. It's gonna help you. So one of the first things we talk about is PPE gloves. Sometimes we see them, sometimes we do not. In this particular video, we see gloves. So props on the officer for taking time to put gloves on before he starts treating the patient. When we're talking about treating patients, we think about the March algorithm. This is massive bleeding, airway, respiratory circulation, and heat loss. So as you walk up to this patient, you're gonna see that his pants are soaked in blood. You see blood on the ground. This should be an indication for a tourniquet. As soon as you walk up, you should be thinking about, I need to stop that bleeding with a tourniquet. The officer here chooses to apply the tourniquet over top of the clothes. Typically, we do want to try to put the tourniquet on the bare skin, but you may not have the time, the resources to expose the wound. So you can apply the tourniquet over top of the pants. If you're going to do this, I would recommend checking the pockets for flashlight, knives, things like that but you can absolutely put a tourniquet over top of the pants. This, this is not gonna feel good, man, but it's gonna save your life, all right? Now the officer's telling him this is gonna hurt, and yes, tourniquets do hurt. So he's walking the patient through as he's applying the tourniquet, so communication is important. Before I do any type of critiquing here, I wanna say the officer did a great job. I think the officer probably saved this person's life by applying a tourniquet. There's a couple of things I noticed here that I wanna try to help you if you ever apply a tourniquet in real life. First, you can see the officer's timestamp is pulled over. And I get onto our officers all the time. This looks super professional, I get it. But you see the officer had to remove the timestamp over. And sometimes people get hung up on that and it's a mental block. So go ahead and pull the timestamp over here and that's gonna help you out. The other thing we see here is the officer's applying the tourniquet pushing away from them. One of the mistakes with these style tourniquets is you don't get that initial wrap tight enough. So it's easier, you get better leverage if you are pulling it towards you. So if I would have been applying a tourniquet to this patient, put it on and pull the red tab towards you. I will take my hand and put it on top of the buckle here and pull it tight that way. That way I can pull it tight I'm gonna to try to cut off blood flow just by this pull right here. Pull it, get all the Velcro secured. I already have my time stamp out of the way, so then I can turn the windlass until bleeding stops. If you get this band tight enough, you should be able to get bleeding controlled in about two spins here. Pull it over, pull your time stamp over here and secure it. So after we get the tourniquet applied, we have bleeding control to that right leg. Let's do a quick sweep and make sure we're not missing any more bleeding here. And then we're gonna move on to the patient's airway. He's talking to us, so we know his airway is clear. Double check the chest, just make sure you don't have any holes in the box that we need to seal up, things like that. Circulation for you guys, it mostly is that secondary sweep. Going back, just making sure you did not miss anything. And then heat loss. Let's cover this patient with a blanket and keep them warm until EMS gets there. So, I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder. 
remember you need the right gear and the right training.